On the Bill Show today, leak detection devices. I found these all on Amazon. They range from about 11 bucks to 80 bucks. We're actually gonna pour some water on them and see if they work. Today's Bill Show, all kinds of random devices I found on Amazon, no sponsors, let's get going. All right, so as we get this test set up, I would tell you that I found all these on Amazon. They seem to be readily available. None of these are companies that I have any um, uh, financial obligations to, uh, although I do know a few of these manufacturers. But what I was really trying to do was figure out what I might use at my own house or my customers' houses, and are these worth uh, the money? So with that being said, Let's jump right into the test. The very first model on here, 11 bucks uh, by Residio. By the way, if you're familiar with the name Honeywell, they rebranded not too long ago, and they're calling themselves Residio these days uh, for their residential products anyways. Now this one I like because it's got a changeable battery and it's real simple. Now I put a lithium battery in there and I would highly recommend for all these devices that are battery based, that you forget whatever kind of uh, standard AA or, or uh, nine volts came with them and put a lithium in. So let's put this one right on the bullseye and let's drop some water on the pan. Move this one over so you can see okay. And let's see what happens. Not bad. I like it. Cheap and dirty. It seemed like it took a second to uh, read, didn't it? I like that it's that it's still going too. It's not stopping. Oh, that's interesting. Once I get it off the uh, water, it stops. So I don't know if you can see this on my little overhead camera, but there's water on this sensor and that sensor. But I wonder if it needs water to complete the circuit and actually cause it to uh, ding. So I'm gonna put these two sensors right down on this puddle. We'll see if it goes again. Yeah. That's interesting. So this one, 11 bucks, man, it's hard to beat for 11 bucks. That seems like a bargain. But you gotta have a decent flood and it's gotta uh, be in contact with this. Uh, so I'd say for 11 bucks, not bad. Give me a second, let me reset, clean up. Let's get going on number two. Okay, next up on the cost scale, from $11 to a pretty big jump to $40. This is the Finn model. Uh, I actually have an Upinor Finn at my house, which is a water shutoff device. This one tells me that it'll do water, temperature, and humidity sensor. Now this one's Wi-Fi enabled. Unfortunately, it wasn't easy to hook up to my phone and I didn't want to take the time to uh, troubleshoot, so I couldn't do it. Uh, but let's see what this one sounds like in comparison to the other one and whether this one will alarm any differently. So uh, I'm gonna put this, looks to me like these sensors are on all sides. I suspect that's what's actually going to uh, make the noise. Let's pour the water to the side and we'll walk it in a little bit. Wow. <laughs> that is really lame. You better have that hooked to your phone because I am sure not waking up if I'm taking a nap with that beeping noise in my laundry room. That's terrible. That is way not loud enough. Oof. Between not being able to hook up Wi-Fi and not being able to hear it, I don't think I would recommend this one. Sorry guys. That is a loser in the test. Okay, next up for about 50 bucks, this Residio model is just called a water leak alarm. What's cool about this one though, is it's got a sensing cable. And if I read the directions right, uh, you could kind of loop this cable around your area, let's say your pan. And if anything hits the cable, it will sense the water. And in fact, this little alarm, uh, it shows on their brochure, like mounted on the wall. I would point out this also has AA batteries. Uh, they did not come with it at that price, but I put these Energizer Ultimate Lithiums in. Highly recommend you do the same thing. Don't be cheaping on batteries for something that's gonna be so important. Okay, so this, I am really curious if this whole sensing cable is gonna work and what this is gonna sound like. So I'm gonna drop it right here in the bullseye and let's see what happens. A whole lot of nothing. Uh, oh, it 
worked. Or did it? It just took a second. All right, all right, not bad, I like it. That's pretty cool. Supposedly you can hook more than one of these cables together and kind of string this around. That's actually pretty cool. Relatively loud, would that wake you up? I think so. I don't know, I like how, how simple it is. And I think it's really cool that this long cable uh, does it rather than just the body of the unit. That's kind of neat. Let's let's wipe the cable off and see if it'll stop going or if I'm gonna have to actually pull the batteries to keep shooting the video or not. Now let's try this reset button here. No. Let's pull the cord just so it doesn't interfere with the rest of the video. Not as loud as I would like necessarily, but I like that that cord can wrap around and uh, and really do a good job like potentially in an under sink area. So that's pretty nice. That's definitely one of my favorites. 50 bucks, where do we go from there? Let's go to the next model, which is also by Residio, formerly the Honeywell people. Now this one looks basically the same, same kind of cord, but the body, if you look closely, is a little bit different. And this one also battery operated. This time I've got a third battery in there, and I think what's happening though is this one is gonna probably end up using more battery power, because this one's now Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, Matthew helped me here at the studio connect it. He got it connected up to his phone in a couple of, uh, like three minutes is all it took. And so this one is now Wi-Fi connected. All right, I suspect this sensor cable is gonna work the same as the other model, because it looks like the exact same cable. This should be interesting. Does this any louder than the other one? And how long will it take to alert the phone? Because I think that's actually a pretty nice little feature. Remember, this is 80 bucks. So let's put a little water out here in the cord. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. Ah. Finally. Okay, so this is the sensor. Let's see how long it takes for the phone to uh, to click off. Here we go, here we go. Water leak detected at office for 80 bucks. I wish it was a little faster. I would actually probably have a fair amount of water on the floor even if I was home and I was trying to get alert from my phone. But pretty darn loud. And again, this cable deal's pretty cool. Okay, the last device. This is called the Water Watcher by Stack. This one's particularly interesting for two reasons. Number one, no battery to die on you. This one plugs into the wall, and this is the only model of the models uh, listed here that can actually do something about the problem. So, you know what? I got an idea to simulate a washing machine. Hang on one sec. I've got a, uh, what am I trying to say? What is this? Heat gun that I could plug in to simulate a washing machine. So we'll know if, if the water sensor, number one, makes noise, but will it cut out this outlet? Again, this one's about 80 bucks. And as I said earlier, this is the only one that can actually do something about the problem. Okay, so when I turn it on, I don't know if you can see that here, I got a little green light going, which I'm assuming is telling me that it's working. And let's turn on this heat gun. Let's turn on low. Oh, that's low, okay. Hopefully y'all can still hear me with the heat gun going. Okay, now this guy looks like has sensors on the bottom. You place that right in the bullseye there. I got a mic up here, hopefully you can still hear me okay. And I'm, I'm assuming that Nothing's gonna happen when I put water here. I'm actually gonna have to kind of quote unquote flood this to make it work. Interesting, the uh, the light is blinking now. I guess that means that it's under load. Let's just double check that. No, it's still blinking. I don't know why, but okay. Maybe that doesn't mean anything. Okay, back to the test. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Red light, machine turned off that was connected here. 
Uh, it did take a fair amount of water under there. They're really no different than the others, and it cut off power to the outlet, plus no batteries. I had a feeling that was gonna be winter. I, I like that. I would totally get that model. That is fantastic. For 80 bucks, that's worth every penny, especially because your washer, if it was, let's say, a washer and dryer, if that was overflowing, would actually stop. That probably could also work for your dishwasher if you were able to kind of cut a hole in the cabinet to slide this between the plug where your dishwasher is and the spot underneath there. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's summarize the test. 80 bucks, this, uh, what's it called? Water watcher by stack? Money, I would totally do it. I honestly also really like this $11 model. For 11 bucks, this makes me think, as a builder, I should put some lithium batteries in there and slide this underneath all the appliances. Uh, in my clients' houses. I bet with those lithium, lithium batteries, I'd get maybe five years out of service for a little guy like this. And yes, you need a fair amount of water, but how cool would that be if there was a problem that the people got alerted pretty quickly, all for an $11 device? But that being said, I do, got, I do really like the cord and the Wi-Fi, not maybe as fast as I would like. Maybe Residio can watch this video and come out with a model that will go to a more instantaneous response. But man, for, what was this, 80 bucks? Leak and freeze detector with Wi-Fi? This is money. This is a really way to go. Just to give the uh, benefit of the doubt to the Finn people, uh, I have their Finn Plus, I can't remember what they call it, but it's basically the big device that shuts off my water if it detects a leak. I've had no problems with that, that's working great. Maybe I just had a dud, or maybe it's my office studio Wi-Fi that was having problems connecting here. Uh, so I, even though I wasn't able to connect mine and it didn't wasn't super loud, I'm hopeful that this fin is actually a good device. And the other thing that I would say too is I did this test on a pan. This is actually a pan for a dehumidifier we have going on in a job. Pans are, are fantastic because a leak detector in the corner would work if this pan filled up like it would be intended for and there was a device here you would also know if you had a problem. And if there's water in your pan, whether it's your dehumidifier, your air conditioner, any of that HVAC equipment, it means that that pan is catching water when it shouldn't. And so a leak detection device is a great place to put in a pan because if that pan's seeing water, there's a problem and you need to know about it. So I'd highly recommend putting pans in other places as well. Check out my other videos. I made a video at my personal house where I put pans under my washer, uh, both washers upstairs and downstairs and underneath my dishwasher in my kitchen. The other takeaway I would tell you is if you already have one of these at your house, test it. See what kind of leak it takes in your area, in your house. And also, you know, for instance, if this was under your washing machine and went off, put some water under there and then go back down to your bedroom, let's say if you're on a two-story house, see if you can hear it. Wouldn't that make sense if it was your personal house to double check? that you're actually gonna get alerted to, to uh, something like this. And of course, you're also gonna need to put on your annual maintenance or biannual maintenance list to actually change the batteries on one of these battery operated models. I mean, that's certainly an accident waiting to happen that one of these batteries dies. I can't imagine there's a low battery alert on these. That would be kind of cool, like a smoke detector, but I suspect there's not. Uh, and lastly, how about this guy? I mean, Super easy, not very complex. A big wire connects them and it shuts off when there's a problem. Pretty sweet. All right, guys, that's it for the water test. Hopefully you learned something. I'll put a link to uh, all these devices in the description. If you've got one that I missed, put it in the uh, comments below. I'd love to hear uh, about one that you like best. Or if you've had a problem and one of these have saved you in the past, drop that in the comments. I'll respond to those comments. Guys, thank you for all your support over the years here at the channel. Uh, we're publishing this somewhere around the start of 2023. It's been a big year. We actually have uh, topped that 1 million subscriber mark, which has been super fun for me. If you've been watching this year, I turned 50 this year, and I started this channel all the way back in 2008. Uh, so I was just a little kid, it feels like, <laughs> when I started this. But this video brings me back to a lot of videos that I've done over the years where I've got a chance to actually test some things. If you think of something else that you want me to test this coming year on The Build Show, drop that in the comments. With that being said, follow me on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.